The first stage of group development is forming. Students are becoming oriented to one another and their task. They are likely to be hesitant and depend on guidance. This is a normal start to group development, and at these beginning stages, the group will benefit from clear guidelines and an intentional focus on themselves as a team. What are their strengths and challenges? How are they going to work together? What are their goals? Why is self-awareness relevant to teamwork? The first step for a new group to work out how they'll become a cohesive team is to take a moment for self-reflection. I need to know the shape of me if I'm going to work out how I can fit with you and him and her. Recognizing similarities and differences is essential for a group of people to work well together. Yet finding the time and giving importance to identifying our own edges and soft spots often doesn't happen. Imagine trying to do a puzzle without being able to see the shapes of the pieces. That's how many teams begin their work together. Key self-awareness topics to help students grasp what they bring to the team and how they engage in a team include deadlines. Do I tend to complete tasks with time to spare or under last minute pressure? Energy cycles. Am I more focused in the morning or the evening? Do I prefer breaks or long stretches? Values and priorities. What aspects of my work do I put high value on? Accuracy? Presentation? Procedure? Motivation. What increases my engagement? What gives me energy as I work? Prior collaboration experiences. What has worked well for me in teams before and what has been difficult? Everyone has sides of their personality they willingly share with others, as well as sides they'd rather not share. Teams function better when each member keeps in mind that everyone's coming to the table with some openness about who they are and what matters to them, and some closeness. As an educator, what can you do? Guiding students towards relevant individual self-reflection can be done in various ways and doesn't need to take a great deal of time. Using the five key self-awareness topics above, students can be given questions encouraging relevant self-reflection as homework tasks. Initial team formation can include discussion time explicitly dedicated to these topics. Or specific tools, all easily accessible online, can be used to prompt self and shared reflection. The Johari window uses adjectives to illustrate hidden and open parts of the self. Myers-Briggs inventory offers individual personality profiles. The Big Five personality test places five core traits on a scale. Barrett's value inventory assesses personal values through a common list of adjectives. Effective team functioning begins with a solid awareness of who the members of the team are. This can't happen without some close examination from each team member of what they're bringing of themselves to the collective table. Reflection is one of the most underused yet powerful tools for success. Richard Carlson.